Hey guys, welcome back to Treadmill Review Guru. I'm Sydney, and today I'm reviewing the Nordic Track 2450. This is the new 2022 model, and it's been streamlined with this new sleek look. Plus, it has a large 22-inch touchscreen that's enabled with iFit that comes free for the first month. And iFit offers a wide variety of training on and off the treadmill. You can train your body and your mind. And you can really utilize it on this new screen that pivots side to side and can be adjusted super easy so you can do training on and off the treadmill. So let's dive in and take a closer look at the construction on the 2450. So diving in to the full construction, the footprint is roughly 81 inches long, 39 inches wide, and 63 inches high. It has that steel frame, and then these steel stabilizers connect into the frame up and hold the console in place. So the previous model had a crossbar in between the stabilizers to help keep the console in place. We found that with this design, even though it doesn't have that and it has more of that streamlined look, it doesn't need it. So the components of the steel really make this treadmill feel really solid and stable, especially when you're using it. We did notice that there is a little bit of screen wobble with this 22 inch touchscreen, and I feel like that can be expected with screens that are attached to treadmills of this size, especially if you're using it at higher speeds and with larger users. It's nothing distracting, just something to be aware of. I really like these handles. So the side handles have this nice texture. It just kind of feels a luxurious feeling, I guess. And it kind of reminds me of the Peloton tread. This offers a really nice grip. So when your hands get really sweaty, these handles never feel slippery. So I like that they added in this texture and it just has a really nice feel to it. Moving on to the motor. So the motor is a 3.6 HP motor. The previous model was a 4.0 HP. I compared them directly and found that they respond the same and they also have the same noise output. They literally were within maybe a few decibels of each other. You still get that same quality of the motor, just know that it's just a little bit smaller, but same responsive wise, nice and quiet. So you're not going to be limited in really in any way, even though that motor is just a little bit smaller than the previous model. Also with this running surface, it's 60 inches long and 22 inches wide. And we've found that this size is just really sufficient for all size users and really all levels of training. You can perform really any kind of workouts on this treadmill and just know that you'll have that extra bit of room lengthwise and then also width wise. So comparatively the Proform Pro 9000 has a 20 inch wide deck that can just feel a little bit more I guess constricting, especially maybe to larger users or if you like to move around. So the 2450 just has that really nice deck size that is gonna be great for pretty much everyone. And also with this new look, the profile on the deck is just a little bit slimmer. So they've managed to make it about an inch lower than the previous model. So the previous model, when we measured from the floor up to the deck was about 10 inches. This one is about nine inches. So that step up height is just a little bit easier to get on. And just that one inch might not seem like much, but to some users it can really make a difference and it can also make a difference when accommodating for that ceiling height. And the deck also inclines up to 15% and declines to negative 3%. So you get a lot of extra variables with your training. And also you have that 12 mile per hour max speed, which is pretty standard. And for most users should be plenty of speed to be able to run and sprint on. Also with this deck, the cushioning is no longer adjustable. So on the previous model, you can turn that cushioning on and off. This one, the cushioning is just going to remain on, which we don't miss it from the previous model. If I want to run without using any shock absorption, I can go run outside on concrete. When I run on this treadmill, it just feels nice and soft and it provides that extra bit of shock absorption to be able to lessen the impact. Um, I know especially when I run, sometimes I get a lot of discomfort in my ankles and I don't get that on this deck. So Nordic Track has some of the softest cushioning 
that we've tested in treadmills and we appreciate that they've kept true to their cushioning on this model. So Nordic Track offers a 10 year warranty for the frame, which is pretty standard, a two year warranty for parts and a one year warranty for labor. So let's check out the overall console. The console in the 2450 primarily consists of this 22 inch touchscreen. And this is larger than the previous model. As I've mentioned, you can get a little bit of that screen wobble when you're using the treadmill, but it's nothing really distracting. It can be adjusted for multiple heights. You can tilt it up and tilt it down. It also pivots side to side up to really 360 degrees. So with iFit, you can hop on the treadmill, have it adjusted perfectly for you, and then pivot it over to the side and do yoga, strength training, or a treadmill boot camp class. So you really get a lot of use out of iFit on this screen. And I really like that they included these quick touch buttons on either side. So this side is your speed and this side is your grade percentage. When you press these buttons, you can press the seven twice to get 7.7 .7 miles per hour. So it's really nice to be able to just quickly adjust and it's really great for those interval training especially. You also have your adjustment buttons down here so you can adjust your speed by those tenths of increment. You can do 1.1, 1.2. And then with the incline, the incline will increase using these buttons by 0.5%. And you also have your start and stop buttons and your safety key here that you can clip onto your shirt, which we highly recommend. And then the speakers down here, they project right at you and we've noticed that even when they're really high, you, you, they never get really fuzzy and they're always really clear and I can hear all of the iFit content even when I'm running and sprinting. So these speakers are really nice for that. As you've probably noticed, there is significantly less storage on the 2022 model than on the previous model. So really just for storage on this console, you get these two cup holders, which they're shallow, but I found that they fold my water bottles nice and secure, kind of surprisingly. They're also removable, so you can remove them or move them around if you need to, move them up here. So it gives you a little bit more options, but just know that you don't have that additional storage tray beneath the console anymore. Pretty much just have these to be able to hold like your water bottle, maybe your phone and your keys. There also isn't a device rack, so you're really kind of more locked into the screen that way. It's just something to be aware of. There's really no place for you to set your phone or tablet to be able to view content that way. Just something to keep in mind. All right, let's dive in to iFit. So iFit comes free for the first month, so you can check out the subscription, and we highly recommend it on the 2450. This screen is just super nice and clear, and with iFit, you just get a lot of options with training. So this is the home page. So it'll keep up with your weekly workouts and your milestones. It'll also do suggested workouts from based on previous workouts you've done and also show uh, new content. And also if you started taking any of their programs, so they have a lot of their uh, classes designed within a program to take over the course of a few weeks or a few months. That way you can have a progression of your fitness and kind of progress throughout the, the program. So that's really fun. They also have challenges here. So they have currently the road trip trip challenge that's going on through the month of June. So they have that for running, walking. Also with iFit, it's enabled on other equipment like exercise bikes, rowers, ellipticals. So you can take a wide variety of classes and then also you can search for a specific class. So on the treadmill, you can take anything from walking, jogging, hiking, interval classes, running, um, and then they have classes filmed indoors and outdoors. So you can do like a studio class that's filmed indoors with the instructor. You can also filter um, and go through and look for a specific class this way. So you can filter through and check out um, like a workout series, which is like the programs that I was talking about earlier. You can also filter by uh, how long you want to work out for. You can filter by the trainer. iFit has over 180 trainers to choose from. 
And then you can also go through, like you can pick a hiking class, you can do a race. So they also film in like real life uh, races like the Boston Marathon, so you can go through and run part of it or uh, take a, uh, those series of classes together to run the complete Boston Marathon. And also with their outdoor options, if you uh, don't want to take a trainer-led class or if you want to take a break from the trainer-led class, you can click create down here on this little menu. And you can go and it's gonna kind of pull up a default. So right now we're in Cape Town, South Africa. Zoom out a little bit. So this is, works with Google Maps, it's, the, it's iFit's Google Map feature. You can go on and click a specific uh, street and be able to draw your own route. So that way you can explore on your own. So you can create your own route and then the treadmill will actually adjust the grade to uh, match the terrain that is in the route. So say you're in an area that has a lot of hills, the treadmill will then um, automatically adjust to match that. You can also override this, but it's a really fun option. And really just the outdoor classes, I think is where iFit really shines. So as you go through, I'm gonna turn up the volume. Just a little bit. So when you start, you'll kind of get like an overview of the area. You'll have your uh, speed and incline on either side. So you can adjust within the screen as well as those quick touch buttons that I talked about earlier. Usually the instructor kind of gives like a little overview and a little kind of welcome as you get going. And then really cool feature is smart adjust with uh, iFit. So you can bypass it at any time, but when you click the Smart Adjust, it will go in and change and adjust the treadmill for you based on either the terrain or what the instructor has kind of programmed into the class. So you can get like a really hands-free experience when you're going, so it will adjust to whatever terrain and whatever grade you're going up or down. Um, and then it'll also adjust to the speed that the trainer's at. And also that goes off of your previous workouts. So it'll kind of gauge your fitness level that way. So it'll adjust to what it feels is appropriate uh, for you. And then you can also see more of your metrics down here and then also your workout metrics up here. So you can keep up with that. You can also uh, get rid of those if you want to be a little less dialed in with your workouts and then you can do heart rate training with the Active Pulse technology when you purchase that separate heart rate tracker, which I mentioned earlier. So they have the armband and you can go through and the treadmill will adjust based on your heart rate as well. So there are a lot of options with iFit and I highly recommend checking it out with that free 30 day trial. All right, let's dive in and check out the functionality of the 2450. So this deck does also fold up, so you can fold it up really easily. I've found that I can lift it up really easily. The deck feels nice and light and it locks into place. And when it's folded, you can tilt it back and it has wheels underneath the front stabilizers to be able to move it around really easily. So diving in, I wanna let you guys see and hear how uh, the 2450 performs. So right now, I have it on one miles per hour pretty quiet. And I have this screen pivoted so you can see the screen while I'm going and see that uh, you can pivot it to each side pretty much up to 360 degrees. So I'm on a flat 0% grade. We're going to go up to three miles per hour. So you can hear that motor and also my foot noise. We'll bump it up to six miles per hour. And here's nine miles per hour. So 
So dropping it back down to three miles per hour. So I'm at a walking pace so I can show you that incline and decline and also pretty much be able to talk. So here it is declining to that negative 3%. It's already all declined. And let's bump it up. Check out that full 15%. So as you can see, the motor overall when it's inclining declining and also increasing and decreasing speed stays really consistent and also really quiet now one of our reviewers matthew who is 6'5 230 pounds is going to walk and run on a flat zero percent grade so here he is walking at three miles per hour Here he is running at six miles per hour. And here's nine miles per hour. So a few things to keep in mind on the 2450 is that the 22 inch touchscreen can wobble a little bit when you use the treadmill at higher speeds and also with larger users. It's not too distracting, just something to keep in mind and be aware of when you purchase a treadmill with a large screen, it can kind of be expected. Also, the 2022 model has a bit less storage than the previous model. We didn't miss it when we tested, but if you like to keep a lot of items nearby when you're using a treadmill, this is just something to keep in mind. And also, the 2450 has a 300 pound weight capacity, which can be a little bit more limiting to some users. 400 pounds typically is kind of the largest that we see on most treadmills, so just something to keep in mind with all of this. We do really like this 22 inch touchscreen. I think 22 inches on a lot of equipment is my favorite size. This screen can be tilted so you can avoid any of that overhead glare and also get it to be a little bit more at eye level for you. And it also pivots side to side so you can utilize iFit on and off the treadmill. You can do all sorts of training while using the screen on the treadmill and then you can turn it to the side and do those mat classes for strength training, yoga, and uh, work your whole body and mind that way. So this screen is just super interactive and really makes iFit that much more engaging. The 2450 also has a 3.6 HP motor that we found to be responsive and just as responsive and quiet as the previous model. It also can handle all kinds of use. So anything from walking, jogging, hiking, running, sprinting, we'll be able to do with this motor and it keeps up and keeps going and stays uh, really responsive that way. Plus this deck is 22 inches wide, 60 inches long, which we found to be plenty sufficient for all size users to be able to perform all kinds of different workouts on this deck. And this deck has really nice cushioning. Nordic Track has some of the softest cushioning that we've tested on treadmills. So it's a really comfortable cushioning to lessen that impact on your joints, especially when you're running and sprinting. And this model also inclines and declines to get even more variability with your training. And it has those quick touch buttons that we love. It makes interval training super easy. You can just press a button and quickly jump to a certain speed, a certain incline and go back and forth that way. And overall, this design is really sleek and streamlined yet it's really easy and functional to use. Thanks for watching our review of the Nordic Track 2450. You can head to treadmillreviewguru.com and read our full written review there with even more details. You can click the link below for current pricing on the 2450. And if you like this video and find it helpful, give it a like and subscribe to our channel. 
We create these videos for you guys so you can see how these machines perform before you take them home. I'm Sydney with Treadmill Review Guru. I'll see you next time.